Hey, I think I owe you a lesson. So I'm just gonna do this real quick on Def Leppard Hysteria. You have that chart. Yeah, well, this is this is something we've never really talked about. I can't have no memory of us talking about song charts because all we've ever done is rips. So you may want to get that out. I'm just I'm I'm looking at mine right here, so I'm just gonna talk about it. So you know you see it broken up into these kind of like boxes, right? Those are measures, and you know this, you know what measures are. Okay. But you've never seen a chart like this, right? Until probably hysteria. So we have two bars of D. What does that mean? That means eight beats, right? Because one bar is four beats. That's what the slashes are. The slashes represent quarter notes, actually. Um, so when you don't see, uh, when you have a, a bar, a measure, a bar, I usually call them a bar. So when you have a bar that's um, blank, has no chord name on it, that's the previous chord, okay? So we have two bars of D, eight beats. We have two bars of G, eight beats. We have one bar of E minor, one bar of G, one, uh, two bars of D. And uh, this actually gets repeated three times. I think uh, one time in the intro maybe, and then two times in the verse. That's all this is. I mean, this is basically the verse progression. It's, it's obviously not the whole song. Uh, but here's the thing, right? Uh, ah, somewhere in your book are all of these chords, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the only chords, D, G, E minor, obviously, they repeats, right? Repeats. Okay. So the first thing to do is practice the chord, right? Oh, I've never made you do any of this. Okay, so I'm not going to, like, go through the shape of the chord. Hopefully, I don't know. I hope it's obvious on your chord paper. Um... Sorry. Uh, okay, look. First thing to do, practice chords. Right? Then practice the uh, progression here as quarter notes. So eight strums on D, eight strums on G, four strums on E minor, four strums on G, eight strums on D. Yeah? But this song really, really, really works well to also work on eighth notes. So let's talk about that real quick. You know what eighth notes are. That's two eighth notes per quarter note, right? Yeah. So, uh, look, if you're doing this quarter notes, it's just going to be all downs, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just the whole progression as quarter notes. Okay. But as eighth notes, the song really, like I said, the song really works. It's got a really, really, really strong four by four beat. You can hear the drums really loud. They're very loud and very powerful. So you can really, really keep track of your quarter note beat and then your eighth notes. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about the eighth notes. Okay, this is what we've never talked about. Look at this hand. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know. I say that every time. Okay, check it out. <clears throat> right? Uh, you strum from the wrist, not the elbow you're probably going to strum from the elbow. Okay, that's what everybody does, right? They go strum, strum, strum. You can't do that. Shouldn't do that. Watch here. There's <clears throat> when you're strumming quarter notes, it's really, really easy to, to not like strum too much, right? You have eight strums of D, eight strums of G, four, you know, so on, so on, right? When you're strumming eighth notes, that's where it gets weird and people have trouble. They end up doing like, you know, two or three extra strums or they cut off some strums or something like that. Uh, you can count it, all right? You can, you can play your eighth notes and count quarters in your head or count it out loud or whatever. Like, I'm going to play eighths and I'm going to count quarters. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's playing eighths, counting quarters. 
I mean, you can do that. I mean, some, you know, honestly, eventually you just get to where you feel the change, right? Especially if you're familiar with the song, you're like, oh yeah, here comes the change, it's the next chord. Uh, look, I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, good luck.